Broken Home by G. Allen Wilbanks. Paula arched her back almost to the point of falling over, turning her face to the sky. The hood of her puffy coat slipped back onto her shoulders as she dodged awkwardly left and right, opening her mouth wide and sticking out her tongue to chase the snowflakes fluttering around her. <laughs> her father stood silently nearby, hands in his pockets, a small smile of bemusement tugging at his lips. Catching another flake, Paula laughed in childish glee, her eyes shining with pleasure. She spun to face her father in triumph, shouting, Got another one! <laughs> he nodded his encouragement. At last, tiring of the game, Paula pulled her hood back over her head and blew out a long breath. She watched it fog in the air in front of her and then swirl and dissipate in the wind. Her cheeks and nose were a cherry red from the cold air on her skin and it gave her a cherubic appearance. What makes it snow? She asked her father, holding her mittened hands in front of her and staring at the white flakes sticking to the red fuzzy fabric. Snow is just rain, kiddo. Only it's too cold for the rain to stay water, so it freezes into snow. Snow and rain are the same thing? Is that true? It's true, he assured her. Paula continued to look doubtful. It is, I promise. I'm not lying to you. Paula nodded, seeming to accept her father's assurance. But then her expression turned oddly serious. Okay, since you're not lying to me, can I ask another question? Of course. And you'll tell me the truth? If I answer your question, I will tell you the truth. Paula inhaled and blew out another frosty breath. Why did you leave me and mommy? She watched her father's face closely as he considered the question. With a wisdom far beyond her actual age, Paula remained silent and waited, seeming to sense he would not answer if she pushed too hard. After a long moment, I didn't want to, but mommy made me go. Paula nodded, as if the answer did not surprise her. Then why did you come back? I didn't want to leave you alone. And I didn't want you to think I had just abandoned you. Will you leave again? Eventually, I have to. I can't stay forever. When? She stepped closer to her father and reached out one hand, waving it back and forth. She watched the red mitten pass through her father's chest from one side of his body to the other. Her father smiled at her unrestrained curiosity and did not move away. After your mother pays for murdering me, the end.